Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ray again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the Oculus Quest development videos. I've been showing you how to create an OVR player controller, how to run, how to jump. In this video, what I'm going to do is we're going to be adding the actual Oculus Quest controller so that we can see it during the gameplay. I'm also going to show you how to pick up items, how to basically make some of those controllers grabbable, that's what Oculus calls them, and then how we can manipulate items in the scene. So I want to show you the scene that I created, thank you to Cynthia Studios who provided the assets that I'm showing you in this video. And also if you want to get those assets, make sure that you click on the link in the description, which is the link that I have for the assets that I'm showing in this video. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. So let me show you what we're going to be doing in Unity, which is to basically show you the results of a scene that I created for VR for the Oculus Quest. So let me show you the demo that I that I created in basically so that you can see the results. So this is a demo that I added and my goal in here is to learn how to create basically not only the controller, but also how I could pick up items. You can see that I'm picking up the a skull in this case I am basically throwing it and you can see how I can catch it and just basically having fun with it so I'll just play this for a little bit and you can you can watch the results and then we'll go into unity and work on it All right guys, so let me show you the results and, and how I actually was able to get that to work. So you probably noticed in the video that I was able to pick up items and the items that I was able to pick up were the, basically the skull, I was able to pick up the rock and, and you can see that I have a box collider associated with each one of these components. This one has one as well and that one is also a skull and then this one as well and you can see the the pieces of wood that I have that I was able to pick up. So what I want to show you how I was able to accomplish that and, and I'm going to be honest this is what this wasn't as complex. It was actually a lot easier than I thought that it was going to be and there wasn't any code that I had to that I had to write to accomplish this. So one of the things that I needed to do and if you haven't watched my previous video make sure that you watch it because I walk you through how to add an OVR player controller which is the controller that I that I was able to use to basically walk around this area. So with that in mind, if you have the OVR player controller, you went through that video, the next piece that I want to show you in this video is how you can actually add an Oculus Quest controller. So if you notice, and if I double click on the left hand anchor and also the right hand anchor, I have a left controller assigned and you can see that it has, it's basically the Oculus Quest controller. I also have a right one and not only that but I also have what's called a left controller anchor and a right controller anchor which is basically part of the prefab so you should have that if you added the OVR player controller so how did I add the left controller let me show you what you need to do to do that so if you basically search for quest in the file system by using the search in the project you'll notice that there is a component here already and it's a it's basically a model and this one is for the left hand and there's also one for the right hand so basically what I did is I drag the left controller under the left hand anchor and then I rename it to left controller I also do the same thing with the right controller and then I just rename it to right controller you can keep the names if you want I just want to make sure that I that I keep everything clean the other thing that I needed to add is a box collider. The reason why I need a box collider 
is because each component that I'm basically colliding with needs to know that I'm going to grab it. So you need to have a basically a box collider. And one thing that I that I struggle with, I couldn't get this to work, is that I was making a box collider, but I wasn't making it triggerable. So make sure that you have a trigger enabled also on the rain controller. The the bounding box is also very important because you know the wider that you make it, the more the easier that it's going to be, and I guess the bigger space that you're going to have when the collision occurs. So you're more than welcome to you know to play with that. I, I left it as default, and it actually it actually works really well. So the other components that you need to add, so make sure you add those two. The other things that I needed to focus on was on the left anchor and also on the right hand anchor. So basically these two components. So let me just collapse this so that we can focus on those two. So because these two components, the controllers are gonna be the ones that we're using to grab items, each one of these has to have an OVR grabber. So if you don't know what that is, just basically just click on add add component and then just search for OVR grabber or you can also just search for grabber and then you'll basically see the OVR grabber there. Once you add it, it's basically going to add a rigid body automatically by default because if you notice, if we double click on that script, you'll see that one of the required components is going to be a rigid body. So by adding this component by default, it's going to add a rigid body to this component as long as the rigid body doesn't exist. If it already exists, it's just going to use the one that is already there. So if we go back into Unity and look at the inspector again, so just make sure that you have that. The the other thing that I also struggle with is I, I, I had this as use gravity and I had a check. You have to have this as kinematic. That is one of the requirements. And in fact, I was looking at the Oculus Quest documentation and it did mention that. I just didn't know by just playing around with the components. So just make sure you set this to kinematic. And then the OVR grabber as well, make sure that you said, you know, the grab begin and the grab end are really important. I, I left it as defaults and they, they work really well. So the other things that are really important in here that won't, won't work if you don't have them set is the grip transform and also the grab volume. So in this case, it's gonna be the left controller that it's gonna be the grip transform. That's gonna be the thing that we're using to grab other objects. So make sure you set that. And also the, the volumes, the grab volume is going to be the collider that is associated with that component. So make sure that you associate that, otherwise it's not going to work. So that's, I did the same thing on the right hand controller. Make sure that you set that and you also want to make sure that you set the controller to be our touch and also left touch on the left hand anchor. So that's basically everything that you, do, you need to do to get the basically controller functionality up and running. The next thing that you need to do is you need to add basically items that you're going to be able to grab. And I created a folder because Oculus does the same thing on their examples. They have a game object called grabbables and I did the same thing. I basically created that and then I put everything, you know, the entire environment is outside of the environment. So it's inside of the environment but outside of the grabbables. So if you look, I have an environment game object, then I have my pairing which is going to be the grabbables of all the objects that I can pick up. And then I have my environment basically outside of the grabables, which is going to be inside of the environment. So if we notice, and if we look at one of these components, let me just show you one that was pretty straightforward. So if you look at this call, like I was showing you at the beginning, I have a box collider associated with it. So one of the things that you need to make sure that you have, you want to, if you want to basically make this realistic, you have to have a rigid body and I have it enable, you know, the use gravity because I want this when I pick it up, I can basically throw it just like a real, you know, real world object. The other thing that I also did is I added a box collider. And in this case, the box collider worked well. I didn't need to do, you know, you could have done a mesh collider collider if you like to, but you know, for performance, you want to make sure that you, you go with something that performs better, which is a box collider versus a mesh, a mesh one. And the other thing that I did is I just resize some of these, you know, if you want to resize. And this is just basically core functionality from, from Unity. This is basically now VR specific. Then the VR specific component that, that I added was an OVR grabbable. So in the, in the controller, we added the components that are going to allow us to basically grab an object. In this case, this is going to be an object that is going to be grabbable. So 
one of the things that I can, you know, that I that I needed to do was allow offhand grab. This is what's going to allow the other controller to grab this item. If you don't have this enabled, you're not going to be able to grab it. So make sure that you have that enabled. The other components, the other settings, I didn't really change. I haven't really looked into them to be, you know, to be honest. So I'm really not going to cover them. Just know that you need to add that to this component to the ones, to the things that you want to pick up. So if you notice, if I look at the stick, the stick is a little bit different. I don't have a box collider because in this, for this shape, it didn't really fit really well. Because imagine if I had a bounding box in here for a box collider, I could be grabbing it from here. And that really, that wa wasn't really realistic. So I ended up, you know, keeping my rigid body just like I did on the other component, but at the same time, adding a mesh collider and making sure that it was, this convex was enabled because that's one of the requirements for the newer versions of Unity. And then I also added an OVR gravel component with the allow of hand grab. So with that said, that's basically what I did on every one of these components. Some of them I did, you know, I made them bigger. Like I, I wanted to see how how actually the experience was with bigger components. So like the this skull right here, I resized it twice as much. And, and I was able to pick it up and, and you saw that in the demo that I show you. And I also did, you know, I had a couple of here on the side. I also did something where I grabbed some of the sticks and I throw it in the water. So when it comes to VR, there's a lot of things that you can do. And it's crazy how much the, how immersive the experience can get just with a simple, you know, just with a sim couple of simple changes because it, it just becomes real. So that's really everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you have any more questions on anything that I mentioned, make sure that you let me know through the comments because I'm always looking at the comments and, you know, if something wasn't clear, let me know and I can always make another video about this. And just keep in mind that I'm going to be making a lot more videos about this and also other Oculus Quest demos. So thank you very much, guys. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you on the implementation to pick up items, let me know through the comments. Also, if you have additional questions, feel free to send me an email to info at dilmergames.com. Also, find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes. And also, make sure that you check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. If you are a beginner, if you're an advanced game developer, they have resources for you. So thank you very much, guys.